accepted the fox's advice and revealed her hideous scarring. Indeed, far from abandoning the sheep, her many forest friends gathered around to console her with kind words and fresh grass. But it did not last for long. The sheep soon noticed the other animals sought her company less often. Sometimes, they even quietly avoided her. Poor child, that scar is so hideous. I want to remain friends, but how can I ignore that hideous wound? Rather than pretending nothing is wrong, it'd be so much easier not to talk to her anymore. Such words came to the sheep's ears increasingly often. Ha! Huh. Fairweather friends, that's all. If it was me, I'd bisect them. Use one half for steak and the other for soup. No, no, you can't do that. They're not bad people. And that poor little sheep doesn't have any friends. This is what happened at the end of the story. The sheep ran into that fox again and asked why the fox had tricked her. The fox replied, I never tricked you. The other animals did their best to get used to your scar, but you didn't put in the same effort. It turned out the sheep hadn't been willing to eat the fresh grass brought to her and didn't go to too much effort to say hello. The little sheep had not realized that the injury hadn't just left a scar in her body, but also deep in her heart. Without the sheep's positive response, and as time went by, her forest friends began to avoid her. Huh. So he was trying to talk his way out. And what happened in the end? Hmm. The sheep listened again to the fox and looked again into her heart. The sheep renewed her efforts with her friends, and together they healed the scar in her body and in everyone's heart. Insufferably corny! I would have preferred an ending where she boils them all in soup after that load of nonsense. <laughs> no storybook ends like that. Let's end here. I'm tired. Okay. I'll come back to you tomorrow. Ugh. You've been telling stories outside my door since you gained control of the Imago Room. No longer hanging out with your so-called friends. Ethergazer is a very busy family. And I feel like there's something strangely wonderful just talking to you like this. I feel like I can tell you anything. Things I can't tell others. It's like I've gained an even closer friend in you. Strange way of putting it. I... I'm sorry. I'm not used to taking the initiative with people. Is this too forward of me? I thought you might be very bored locked up in here all day, so I wanted to read a storybook. If it's not interesting, I can find something else. It's alright. Bored is bored. Not a bad bedtime story. Okay. Right. Well then, see you tomorrow? <gasps> oh, sir. What did you say? Hmm? Guess I heard wrong. Um, see you tomorrow! <laughs> <laughs>